Question is for y'all ladies. I just want to know. Do you guys Do you guys love a jealous type of man or a secure man? I just want to know. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Patrick Blackwood. Eat with Patrick Blackwood. And this is what we have here today. We got Taco Bell in the building. We got some my favorite freezy, cherry freezy. We got spicy potato soft tacos, chipotle chicken, wrap ch taco to it. I got a chicken quesadilla. Guys don't want to miss out. Man, I really, I would really, really appreciate you guys. Go ahead and like this video too as well. Man, we're going to have to get this thing started. Hey, Amen. Mm. Mm. You can not go wrong with some quesadilla, man. I want to say thank you guys for showing me so much love and support on my last video. I'm glad that you guys love that video. That video, shout out to um, 800 views in one day. Man, I am super, super happy and thankful and grateful for you guys, especially to my ladies. 100% um, ladies that's watching me. Yo, yo, I am. I want to give y'all a shout out real quick. That's 100. You feel me? That's I fucks with that to all my ladies out there. I fucks with y'all. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. This is so good. Hold up now. Oh man, you know everything goes up, you feel me? OnlyFans goes up. Y'all fucking with me on OnlyFans. And y'all showing so much love. Real talk. Mm mm mm. This is so good. Oh my God. I'm just so blessed with nice juicy sauce inside of here. The cheese, the chicken. Oh my God. This is so good. Super good. Mm. I got a question for you guys. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Right now, I'm making love to my quesadilla. Oh, shit. I'm making love to my quesadilla real quick. Y'all ladies know what I'm talking about, making love. When you make love with your food, when you eat it, you got to fantasize it. And then when you put it in your mouth, mm. It's just like, it's wonderful. You feel me? Mm. The question is for y'all ladies, I just wanna know, do you guys, do you guys love a jealous type of man or a secure man? I just wanna know, um, pretty much, There's a saying, if your man's not jealous, then he doesn't care about you. That's the saying. I just want to know your opinion, y'all opinion. Let me know in the comment section. I just want to know y'all insight. How do you feel about that? Do you want a jealous man or you want a secure man? 
because kid you not uh me and Bay we went out to Igloo mm. a couple of days ago I had a great ass time by the way I had a good ass time um there were some baddies. I ain't gonna lie. Me and Bay were pointing out baddies and shit. Hey, you know that's the luxury of being being a man in your and and you secure in your own place. And my Bay is secure in her own place, and she don't give a fuck. And she like women, so we picking out fine ass women. That's a luxury for me. Some men don't get that luxury. You get what I mean because. Certain women is not secure about themselves. Now, mm, now, don't don't get me wrong. I want just want to hear from y'all. So me and when me and Bay went out, she's doing her thing. She's vlogging and everything, and you know. Dudes like to look at my lady like, yo, they give me props for my lady and all that. But, you know, I'm not a type of guy that's jealous. I'm so so damn secure of my damn self. I don't really give a damn. I don't. I, I trust myself and I trust my lady. You know what I'm saying? I, I can't. I can't force her to do what the hell she she gonna do what the hell she wants. I I can't I don't control her. You get what I mean? So she have respect for me and I have respect for her. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, it it just what it is. You feel me? So I'm there. I'm chilling. We having a good time. And you know, guys is like, yo, you making your girl dance with other guys? I'm like, yeah. Like what the fuck? Like she's. Uh, she's she at the end of the day and me is me at the end of the day so <laughs> i'm dancing with females she's dancing with females and dudes so what, what's the problem now i'll make you a punk nigga because your girl dancing with a man i mean i'm so different bro I'm just so different and I don't give a fuck. Not just because she's doing it. That just me overall. I'm a type of dude. It just dance is a dance. Dance does not mean that you guys have sexual intercourse. It don't mean nothing like that. So I just wanna know, like, let's clear the air. If you guys love a jealous man, a jealousy man, that just show that they're a person that cares. I don't think so. Like it just shows that a man that is jealous is very insecure of themselves. There's certain things that they have to work on. You know what I'm saying? Like their looks, because they're afraid that they'll lose the person because of their looks and the way how they, the person physique or the way. He got tattoos, or, you know, some bullshit with niggas. You know, niggas be niggas at times. You get what I mean? So, just because somebody's secure doesn't mean that he don't care about you. He don't love you. He just be all secure of himself. Like, I don't give a fuck about these dudes. Like, none of these dudes are like me. And sure enough, there ain't a lot of women that like her. At the end of the day. You're gonna always gonna find somebody that's prettier than another person or have a better body than another person. You just gotta know the fact that if you got a, a certain flaw that you got, uh, you're dealing with, then nah, you gotta work on that situation, that solution. You gotta fix that solution, that problem for yourself and make that shit a solution. Like you gotta, you gotta solve that. That's how I solve it. I can't be insecure about what she doing. You know what I'm saying? Like, why? I'm so secure for myself. So, 
if you guys feel like a man that's jealous gotta be that shows caring then y'all is all fucked up in the head that's my opinion That's that's fucking this it's it's like toxic as hell. Versus me, I dealt with somebody that was toxic in my life. Toxic in my life. I like toxic. I said toxic dog. I had a pro day. Quick story. I had a pro day. That's in Houston. And I was dealing with this shorty. And I just felt I felt great in my training, my my preparation and training and everything. I hang out with Shorty, just about a few hours, you know, before I had to go on the plane. I ain't gonna lie to you, I almost missed my flight because I had to meet my uh, coach that I was training with. Me and him was flying together to go to Houston. I kid you not. So I was hanging out with Shorty for a while. In the last minute, I only had like about an hour and 30 minutes to get to the airport. This is in Florida. And you know traffic in Florida ain't nothing, bro. Like, it, it's bad. And I almost missed my flight because of her. So she was like, yo, I hope there ain't gonna be no bitches that are gonna be in your, your pro day. I'm like, what? Dog, your pro day is something that's important that you're gonna be doing like all different type of workouts and you trying to get into the door of the NFL, you feel me? Now, this one, I have to say this. So I got there. I kid you not, ladies, kid you not. Real shit. This is real shit. I, I can't even lie about this. This is like real shit. I got there, got to the hotel. It's me, my coach, and this other athlete. We in the same hotel. And we had different rooms. We literally have a door here, door here, door here. Kid you not. Um, I got there. I ride to Houston. I call her. She all she said, yeah, I hope there ain't no bitches picking you guys up. And I was like, bruh, nobody nobody no bitches not gonna pick us up. Though. We just taking an Uber to get to the hotel and rest so we can get ready for tomorrow. Like we got a big ass competition and shit like that. Alright. Got to the hotel. She called me about five or six times. Five or six times. Nonstop. 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 I'm with my peoples. Like literally with my peoples. With my coach and everything. We talking about the preparation. What time we gotta get up what we should eat all this shit all right <clears throat> got into my hotel contact all my family before i contact her i contact her while i was talking to my dad she hit me up on facetime lit i'm i'm being dead ass serious yo hit me up on facetime And she said, why you answer your phone? Why you answer your phone? I was like, yo, I was talking to my father and um, we still on the phone. So I had to decline the damn phone call with my father just to answer a FaceTime. And I was like, yo, I was gonna call you, but I was just with my father. I'm really talking to my father. And Tell him what's going on. Whoop the whoop. And all she's like, oh. Oh, so you talking to your father and shit like that. So she tell me, oh, fit the camera around on FaceTime. I'm like, man, listen. Fit the camera around. I'm like, alright. I put the camera around. And I'm like, bro, what the fuck is wrong with you, bro? Like, oh, I know you hired some bitches in that car, in that hotel. I'm like, bro, nobody hired no bitches, bro. What are you talking about? I just hang out with you. I was in Florida. I flew out to Houston 
to do my pro day. I don't have time for that. So what I'm saying to y'all ladies, like, be careful what you asking for. When you have a jealousy nigga, shit could go really left. When he's starting to manipulate you and abuse you mentally, physically, and spiritually, that's something hard to come out of, bruh. And in that situation, when I was dealing with that, that day when I ran to Houston and the next day I had my pro day, I didn't do well because of all that harness energy, that negative energy she had, and she worrying about all this bullshit about women and men. Oh, you got all these bitches around here, this and that. It, it fucked up my performance because I had to deal with that. I didn't have no clear mind. My, my mind was all over the place. You get what I mean? So be careful what you ask for. Just because a jealousy man doesn't mean that he cared. That's very toxic. Why would you want to live behind your back, turning your, your head because your man calling you just because he don't trust you around other niggas or he don't trust you around your homegirls because you guys going out. Bro, that don't make no sense. That's senseless, dog. Like, it's very senseless. So be careful what you ask for, man, because at the end of the day, that's not caring. That's not caring. You got me fucked up. But anyway, we did have an awesome time at Igloo Atlanta. And um, I just want to have more memories. I just focus on me, man. Like, I'm focused on making great memories. Focus on building myself up as a man. And I'm confident, man. I'm, I know I'm a handsome, sexy-ass man. So why should I worry? You feel me? Why should a dude worry? Man, nothing. Listen. Mm. I don't understand that. I don't got shit to worry about. I just focus, man. Literally focus. I don't understand. You know what I you know what I figured? And I told this to my brother. Cause he he was like worried about his ex and this and that. He loved his ex. And he's like, man, oh, I just wish she she can look forward and not look at the past. You can't do that. You really can't do that. You know why? A lot of people have so much passion of negativity in their life and they focus on the negative. They will never focus on the positive in their life. And that's being toxic. When you have a clear conscious mind and you can move forward with your life, a lot of great things happen towards your life. Even when you hurt. When you pass the hurt, you're not going to forget it, but you know how to move. 
You know what I'm saying? It's like chess. It's like chess. In life, niggas gonna try and play you like you're a pawn. And you don't know that. Yeah, even though you raised as a king and a queen, there's another motherfucker that's a pawn just strategizing to be a king and a queen. Pawns could be strong and they could be weak. That's why they're pawns. You get what I mean? So you gotta be careful. If you say what you mean, things will come true. So at the end of the day, just be you, live life, love life, love yourself. Time is your best friend. Cause time you will never get back. And those are the moments that you have to cherish. I don't understand why people hold on to the past because they forget about growing. When you think of something negative, you'll never grow. You know that, right? Because you're so harnessed on bad vibrations that you forget to grow. Ladies, things that happened to you in the past, never forget them. But know why that happened and grow from it. Because at the end of the day, you don't want to dwell on that shit and then it stop you from growing. You always want to keep growing. But you guys are mature. Niggas, they're like bitches sometimes. I ain't on front with you. I was like that, man. Like, man, why this bitch... You know what I'm saying? Like, I was like that. So it took me a while to understand that. But if a nigga ain't growing and elevating you or they ain't pushing you to be in the right direction or your female friends ain't pushing you to the right direction, move forward and do something better with your life. You don't need that negativity. You only got one life. Life is too short. Live, have fun, enjoy the life that you you deserve at the end of the day. Anyway, I want to say thank you guys for joining me. Uh, again, if you guys really love this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more of these videos, let me know in the comment section. And until next time.